What's happening around the world? It's time for another serving of news bites. 最近国内外发生哪些大事？午餐搭配 i s a t News Bites， 慢慢的一口接一口，吸收最新时事和趣闻。Hello, everybody, and welcome to a new episode of News Bites. I'm Trevor Tordemasi, and I'm Paz Bueno. In today's news, Penghu lights up the skies. Acupuncture works on turtles, and a rooster is a symbol of courage in Ukraine. All that and more coming up next. Top of Taiwan, Penghu 花火节点亮夜空 Penghu lights up the skies with its fireworks festival. If you love the beach and you love fireworks, there is one place you might want to go between April and June. That's when the International Fireworks Festival happens in Penghu. In many parts of the world, fireworks 烟火 are used to celebrate 庆祝 an important day. And in Chinese culture, fireworks are often used to scare evil spirits away. They are also used to pray for happiness and wealth. Because of this, fireworks can often be seen and heard during important festivals, like the different New Year celebrations and during National Day, 国庆日 But fireworks don't just happen during the New Year and Lunar New Year in Taiwan. They are also an important part of the summer season in Penghu too. 夏天的澎湖也少不了烟火。This year, the Penghu County government says it is planning to have a total of 24 shows from April through June. It will even include light shows, 灯光秀 that will be carried out by 500 remote-controlled drones, 遥控无人机 That's more than double the number of drones the festival used in 2019. The main event of the Penghu International Fireworks Festival happens in the port city of Macong. And the fireworks show happens with the Xiying Rainbow Bridge in the background, Beijing. The fireworks festival first began 开始举办 in 2003 as a way of bringing visitors to the archipelago, 群岛 When people travel to Penghu to attend the fireworks festival, they also get the chance to visit the islands to see how beautiful they are. The Penghu International Fireworks Festival is very popular with both domestic tourists, 国内旅客 and international tourists, 国际旅客 Today, the festival is one of the most important events on Penghu's calendar. Going global. 针灸对乌龟也有用 Acupuncture works on turtles too. Acupuncture, zhenjiu, is an ancient Chinese way to practice medicine. It involves inserting taru, very thin needles, through the skin at different points on the body. Ouch! And while there is plenty of proof, zhenjiu, to show it works on humans, we now have proof it works on turtles too. In the United States, one aquarium, Shui Tzu Guan, discovered bassoon the turtle with a group of twenty-nine other turtles in the state of Massachusetts. Bassoon and his fellow sea turtles, Hai Gui, were very sick and very weak because they had been exposed to very cold temperatures for a long time. When that happens to turtles, doctors say the turtles are cold stunned, which happens when the water temperature hits about ten degrees Celsius. After they were rescued, the staff named all twenty-nine turtles after different musical instruments like tuba, trombone, and trumpet. 当这二十九只乌龟被救治后，员工们用不同的乐器帮它们命名，像是低音号、长号跟小号。But of all the sick turtles, the vets, Shou Yi, soon realized that Bassoon was the sickest of them all because his jaw was injured. Xia E 受伤 ，he couldn't move on his own. He was weak, and Bassoon was not able to eat or drink properly. To help bassoon get better, the aquarium put bassoon on an IV, 静脉注射 They also gave bassoon physical therapy, 物理治疗 injections, and acupuncture treatments. The acupuncture worked so well that bassoon was able to use his jaw again after a few weeks. When bassoon is fully recovered, kung fu, he and his other sea turtle friends will be returned to the ocean where they all belong. Today's feature: 攻击在乌克兰是勇气的象征 This rooster is a symbol of courage in Ukraine. 
The war in Ukraine has made it dangerous to walk around Ukraine's capital city, Kiev, Ukraine's capital, Kiev. So people in Kiev were surprised to see British Prime Minister Boris Johnson, English President Boris Johnson, and Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky, Ukraine's President Zelensky, go for a walk. As they were walking, one woman gave them two ceramic roosters, 公鸡形状的陶瓷壶 as presents. <laughs> That rooster is important to the Ukrainians because after the Russians tried to destroy one building in a city, a photographer found a kitchen in that same building which remained intact. He took a picture of the kitchen, and then he saw a statue of the rooster which was intact too. 这只公鸡对乌克兰意义重大，因为在某一座建筑物被俄军摧毁后，有个摄影师发现里面的一只公鸡陶瓷壶完好无缺。But the statue isn't just one of a random, 随随便便的 rooster. The design was made by a famous Ukrainian artist who was born in 1895. His work is so famous that some of his art now sits in a museum. The recap. So, in today's news bites, Penghu is getting ready to celebrate its annual fireworks festival. The Penghu fireworks show lasts from April until the end of June. This year, organizers are also planning a light show with 500 drones. And we know acupuncture works on humans, but now we know it works on turtles too. A turtle named Basoon received acupuncture for his injured jaw because he couldn't eat. Once he recovers, he'll be returned to his ocean home. And a ceramic rooster has become the new symbol of courage in Ukraine. This is because the ceramic rooster survived an attack on a building in the city. A photographer found the rooster intact and took a picture of it, making the rooster famous. And that's today's episode of News Bites. This week, we want you to have your say about time travel. It's fun to learn about the past and what life was like back then. It's also fun to imagine what the future will be like, and how very different our lives might be. But what if you could really see for yourself? If you had a time machine and could go anywhere in time, where would you go? Record your message and send it to newsbites n e w s b i t e s. At icrt. dot com. dot tw with your name and age, and if you'd like the name of your school, make sure to send us your recording by Thursday at noon, and you might hear your message on our show on Friday. ICRT 与教育部国民及学前教育署下次继续和您聊新闻。ICRT app 和网站也能重复收听。More local and international news next time on News Bites. Brought to you by the K to 12 Education Administration. Find past episodes available on the ICRT website and app. <laughs>